Welcome back to Carecast, the podcast from Carisoft, the trusted government IT solutions provider. Subscribe to get the latest technology updates in the public sector. I'm Anthony Jimenez, your host from the Carisoft production team. On behalf of Juniper Networks, we would like to welcome you to today's podcast. Focus around the benefits of AI native networking and how to leverage Juniper's MEST AI platform. Judson Walker, Senior Director of Engineering, John Gimento, Senior Director, Federal Systems Integrators, Laura Lee Wood, Group Lead, R115 Network Engineering Services, will discuss how the world's first AI-driven wired and wireless network optimizes public sector workflows and data center systems. The next part of this segment, we've welcomed Laura Lee Wood. Uh, she's from MITRE. She's the Principal Engineer over at MITRE, uh, about 20 years in the industry, mainly on the telco side. Uh, but, you know, she's come down to kind of talk a little bit about her experience with using MIST. Uh, so, Laura Lee, thank you for coming down. I really do appreciate it. Why don't we start with a basic question? So, uh, so tell me a little bit about, you know, some of the pain points. What made you gravitate towards looking at MIST initially? And, uh, you know, what are your thoughts afterwards? First off, thanks, everybody, for having me. Um, so, he says 20 years. It's actually over 30, but I didn't want to say that. Um, and typically, uh, as an IT engineer, you know, we're the, we're the people behind the scenes. I like to say that we're more the Wizard of Oz. We don't usually come out to events like this, but I was compelled to because we recently uh, rolled out like a 20 year that night of Juniper Nest. Now, when we first started looking at it, was over a year and a half ago, and I hope I'm louder than a latte. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's all right, I have your coffee. Um, we started looking about a year and a half ago because we were at that point of having to life cycle our infrastructure. And I challenged our team to not think of it as just a life cycle, but to think of it as a new way of you know, tackling some of our major problems. So as we did the RFP, we thought of a few of our pain points. One of them was um, our old architecture was controller-based. And the controller-based architecture was just uh, not going to grow with the amount of users that we had using our wireless system. We couldn't backhaul the entire country and all of our offices back to two data centers on the East Coast. It was just inefficient. Uh, secondly, we knew that we wanted to architect something towards zero trust. So we're looking to kick our users off the network. And I know that statement sounds kind of bold, but uh, not the researchers, not the folks in the labs, but the folks that just are in doing day-to-day -day business, uh, having to reach applications on the internet. Uh, we wanted to build a completely separate infrastructure and uh, focus on those users having to use our zero trust VPN in order to gain access back in or use the, uh, the access to gain access to the internet. And then lastly, we were focused on a couple of the bigger initiatives for is it cloud-based and is it AI? Now, those were some of the directives that came from our leadership. And so that's how we you know, approached this problem. 